Colts face the Patriots this Sunday. Lines have been drawn for the fans in both cities, of course. But one player on the New England roster comes straight out of central Indiana. Dave First tells us about a Patriot from Brownsburg. Hey, good evening, guys. From Boston, we're standing outside Fenway Park, one of the great ballparks in America, almost as old as the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, just by a year. This opened up back in 1912. A lot of guys from the Midwest have played there, including a couple guys from Brownsburg and Drew Storen and Lance Lynn, both members of Major League Baseball, the Washington Nationals and the St. Louis Cardinals. There's another guy from Brownsburg as well who now plays football for the Patriots. His name is Chris Jones. It's hard work preparing for an AFC championship, but for Brownsburg's Chris Jones, it's nothing more than what he's done all his life. What's been the secret for you? Just hard work and doing your thing? and Just keeping my head down and just working. Um, yeah, just not complaining about anything. Just whatever, whatever's, whatever opportunities arise, I try to take full advantage of them. His story is one of patience and perseverance. He spent the beginning of his rookie year being cut by the Texans and Bucks. The Patriots gave him a chance, and he paid them back by leading his AFC rookie class with six sacks. But it goes back further than that for the former Bowling Green State Falcon. You come out of Brownsburg, none of the Big Ten schools looked at you. You go to Bowling Green, all of a sudden you're a part of a, another AFC championship game. Well, you're a stop and think, man, this is kind of crazy how it's all happened here. Well, yeah, well, sometimes. Uh, <laughs> it has been a great ride for you. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, I have no complaints of where I'm at right now. Um, you know, as a team, we're in a great position right now, and I'm just blessed to be a part of it. Meanwhile, back at Brownsburg High, no one's more proud than his high school coach, Brett Comer. So when Chris came to Brownsburg, were you thinking, oh, yeah, this kid can make it to the NFL, or, or what? <laughs> well, I don't think you can predict that with anybody, <laughs> but we were thinking he looks like a really good player. Yep, Jones was a transfer from Michigan. That's Chris wearing number 58. He helped Comer win his first sectional game back in 2008. Comer helped Jones as well. You know, just being there, being with him and in that program at Brownsburg definitely helped me uh, to get to become who I am today. Is, you know, um, he definitely helped me with colleges and right. get me into college. Um, you know, he, he really pushed us out there, pushed a lot of his guys out there. There is a dilemma, though, back in Hendricks County. I'm assuming you're a Colts fan, but does this, this question. does this week? Uh, how does this? This is you know, tough, man. I, I mean, you got a guy playing. Um, <laughs> we're win-win. Chris wins. I got we got a kid playing in the, in the Super Bowl. Uh -huh. Colts win. The Colts are playing in the Super Bowl. So I'll leave it there. It's all good. Then. I'll leave it there. Yeah, yeah we'll leave it right there. <laughs> Bottom line, it's funny how it all works out, isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, there's it's a crazy road, but God has plans for everybody, and this is plan for me. Chris Jones has overcome a lot. In fact, you go back to the NFL Combine a couple of years ago. He hurt himself in that combine, did not have a very good tryout at all, which cost him. But now, look at him. He's a win away from advancing to his first Super Bowl. By the way, Coach Comer will be here to watch Chris play on Sunday. Day first, RTV Six Sports.